All right, so I've got a uh, rich tip for the night. So I've got a chainsaw, an old still, sitting on the workbench tonight, and uh, I got I'm going to pull the head off and uh, take a look at the rings, see what we got going on in there. Um, it's not getting enough compression, uh, but it's doing. It, it will turn over to a point. It won't keep running, and uh, it just kind of sounds like it's uh, running empty, if that makes sense. Um, there's not enough compression, basically. So, I went to pull the uh, exhaust off. The You can't really call it a muffler, but uh, it's got a spark arrestor on it. And it does help quiet it down a little bit. And I found that one of the nuts that's on there, which is one of these little guys, was well-rounded. You can see this one is a little bit eaten up as well. And um, it's not for me. You see those little teeth marks? Somebody has gone at this with uh, a set of, uh, you know, set of uh, vice grips or something like that. Well, here is my solution. Whenever I can't get a good grip on a nut or a bolt that is in a good spot, I use an old drill chuck, of which I keep several on hand, and a long-handled key to tighten it on there, and then and just loosen it. Now this old number one uh, Jacobs chuck here, which actually this may not be a number one, hold on, let me take a look. It is a number two, I'm sorry, this is a number two A. Uh, Jacobs chuck has some really aggressive knurls here, so you can actually use it kind of like a screwdriver very easily. Um, it does get a very good bite, and even though I didn't get a perfect seat on that nut, it came off without any problem. So the trick, the tip for tonight is don't throw out your old drill chucks. They may not be good enough to really hold a drill bit in the drill, but um, they might save you when it comes to pulling a nut or a bolt off of a piece of equipment one day. So that's it. Have a good night.